Hello everyone, I'm Amir Hussain. Welcome to this training video. In this video, we discuss about a utility called anthroemis, which can be used to make anthropogenic emissions required to run the WorfCam model. I have already made a video about another emissions utility called PrepCam Source, which can make complete emissions data from natural or biogenic emissions to industrial or anthropogenic emissions. However, if you don't need the biogenic, if you don't need the biogenic emissions or you want to omit it, instead of prep chem source utility, you can use the Antro Emis utility, which is somehow simpler to install and execute. So I am in the directory of Antro Emis utility. I have already shown you how to install it uh, and how to get the emissions data to run this utility. Antro Emis has a name list which is called most card input i open it inside of this input name list you can uh, you can find some parameters the first parameter is actually the directory or the path to the directory of your emissions data downloaded emissions data these are my downloaded emissions data which were edgar htap data Inside of this directory, we have three subdirectories. Actually, we're going to use this most card directory. Inside of this most card directory, you have seen, you, you can see a bunch of net CDF data. Each of them um, are actually data for a specific gaseous or aerosol agent. <coughs> okay. Uh, there are another, uh, actually the second parameter is WORF directory, the path to your WORF run directory. And um, the only point is that you should be sure that you have run your WORF cam, your WORF cam model before and your WORF input data is available in this uh, directory because Antremis is going to read your WORF input file. And uh, the other parameters are prefix and suffix of your files. My prefix is something like this, and this is my suffix. And the interesting point is that all of these data are based on the year 2010. You can notice that all of them are based on 2010. And this situation can make a, uh, can raise a question, and uh, you may ask yourself, is it okay to use uh, emissions data that are that are all based on the year 2010 maybe you're running your model for 2024 or 23 but uh, that's totally okay because uh, but before running Antro Emis you should um, you should be sure that you have set the month and day of your run you can use the year 2010 but the year, the, the month, and the day of your run uh, should be consistent with your WORF name list. And uh, I don't need to touch the other variables. These are actually uh, variables that map the emissions data. And also this serial output parameter, which, is, which should be equal to false. Okay? I now I'm ready to run my Antro Emis utility. Antro Emis, you can run it by Antro Emis less than less than symbol and your name list. Most card the input. You run it. It reads emissions data after running. It creates two files: WorfCam underline zero zero and WorfCam underline twelve. It creates two files, but actually both of these two files are identical and you can use either of them. There is no difference between these two files. I have uh, created a file here to show you that, to, to be sure that there is no difference between these two files. Run this program. Actually this programs, this program reads uh, the content inside of these two files all of the contents. This is the variable and it prints the minimum and maximum all, of all the variables. So you can see that there is no difference between the minimum and maximum 
of the variables. This is the emissions data for, for CO and the minimum and maximum is equal in two, both of these two files. This is a situation you can find for all variables for PM 2.5 minimum and maximum are equal okay so you can use uh, the first one or the second one I will use the first one so I copy the path to this file copy the path to this file and I go to my uh, wolfcam run directory here and I paste it here paste this file here let me open this file and show you the content inside it and this is our domain this is actually covering Iran this is Caspian Sea and Persian Gulf and this is actually our wolf domain and these are the uh, available emissions data for our domain <coughs> okay now you need to change its name to the uh, file which is appropriate and possible for WorfCam to be read while running your model that name would be this one if you don't change this name it will uh, show an error no problem it's not a very serious error after that you can change your file to the appropriate name which is this name so i change it to this name and before running i open my name list uh, for this uh, specific run of the WorfCam, I don't have any biogenic emissions, so I need to comment out those variables inside my name list that are associated with biogenic or go-kart emissions. I comment out this and comment this WorfCam go-kart background emissions. I comment out this, also these one and these one so the only variables that are related to auxiliary input data number five are active here okay i save it and i run my model let me show you just before running this is my chem option here i have set my chem option to the number 301 and this is uh, only for one um, one domain I have not set any nested domain but for nested domain you can uh, do the same process again for your nested domain I have already made a separate um, video about running nested run the model with nested domain but that video is uh, based on using prep cam source utility but there isn't much difference between uh, the process you can do that and you can apply entro emis on your second uh, domain or your nested domain i run wharf okay there is something happening here let me see what has happened here <laughs> actually um, antro emis is a pretty old uh, utility so when you want to run your wharf cam model with antro emis you need to set another variable which is about which allows wharf cam to consider um, input data from previous versions from old versions <coughs> so you can see the error the input file appears to be from a pre-version pre-version 4 of the wharf so you can easily handle this problem just go to your name list and here this is the variable that you need 
that can solve your problem force use old data I just comment it out and now I run it again so uh, yes and also uh, it, it asks for uh, the chemical data emissions data for the nested domain <coughs> actually <coughs> this is only for one domain I just set maximum domain to one and I run again <coughs> and now it's, it has started running and let me show you the output this is the output for let's say <coughs> uh, SO2 is the output for SO2 output for NO so you just act you you're running the wharf chem model just for anthropogenic emissions there isn't any biogenic or natural emissions used in this uh in this run of the wharf camp <laughs>